Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chasing Mysteries Gardens. I'm Rebecca, and along with my wife Karen, we are on a mission to renovate and rejuvenate our little piece of earth. Today is August 14th, and my mom gave me some, some more peaches. So I am going to make peach barbecue sauce. It is something I've always wanted to make ever since I got uh, the ball complete book of home canning. Um, there's a recipe in that book. Karen is allergic to tomatoes, so we don't eat any tomato products and barbecue sauce, of course. Tomatoes is, I think, the number one ingredient. So she can't have most barbecue sauces. So I like to try to find things that are the same but aren't the same. So I was really excited when I saw the peach barbecue sauce recipe. So I'm not gonna take you on the entire journey because it's the first time I've ever made it. I kinda wanna concentrate on what I'm doing and I kinda hurt my arm last night and uh, I don't know how well I would do holding the camera and trying to uh, cook something. So I'll do little shots here and there and take you along the journey as we do the Every Bits Count, I forgot to mention it's part of the Every Bit Counts Challenge so that these peaches do not go to waste. So come along with me as we can peach barbecue sauce. Step number one is to get six cups of chopped up peaches. So from here to here to here. So we want to remove the skin. So we're gonna heat this to boiling, plunge them in for 30 seconds, and then water bath them, and then the skins come right off. Also for this recipe, we need red pepper, Worcestershire sauce, ground mustard, dry mustard, red pepper flakes, garlic, onion, cider vinegar, and honey, as well as some salt. So all of this will become this. Peaches, red pepper, pepper flakes, salt, onion, mustard, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, and now the beautiful, beautiful honey. Oh, look at that. I gotta get my scraper to get all that out of there. This used up almost all the honey I had. I had to use two different kinds. One, just a plain clover honey. And then another one. Hold on, let me get it for you. Basswood, 100% raw honey sourced from the Great Lakes, Illinois and Ohio. Now we're going to heat this until it comes to a boil and then we will turn it down, let it continue to simmer for about 25 minutes. You want it to be like a thin sauce consistency. It will continue to thicken when you can it. Smells good. We'll see you back soon. So after I got the peaches, 
for the sauce. I had about one, two, three, four, five, six, nine peaches left over. So I'm going to save a couple to eat fresh. But then I thought it would be fun instead of, because I don't think we could eat 10 of them that quickly before they went bad. I'm going to make some peaches to use for ice cream. We have an ice cream maker that we hardly use and peach ice cream sounds so delicious. So I'm going to prepare these by um, peeling the skins and then I'm going to dice them, add a little lemon juice so that they don't turn brown, chop them up and put them in the freezer so that we can later make ice cream. Just waiting for this to boil. So I got two cups of the peaches for the ice cream recipe and then I also had enough to put some slices on a plate and I'm going to stick into the freezer and freeze these. If I can find room. So I decided that I want this sauce to be smooth. So I am going to immersion blend it. All right, now that that is blended, whoo! Oh, that is delicious. It's tangy, it's hot from the red pepper, it's sweet, oh this, I, I think she's really going to like this, but it is starting to really bubble, so just want to make sure I'm stirring it. Now, now that I blended it, it's a little thicker. I think I'm gonna put my splash guard. That looks that looks like thin barbecue sauce. I might let this go for just a few more minutes. Then we will take it outside and can it up. There you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six half pints, three quarter pints. These will probably be gifts this Christmas. And these are for Karen to enjoy the rest of the year. So now I'm just mashing it up to get the sugar dissolved in there. Also to crush up the peaches a little more, be careful. You don't want to break the bag at all. You don't want massive chunks of peaches in your ice cream anyway, because they get rock hard and not fun to eat. All right, now we're going to sip this up most of the way. I'm probably going to try to make this flat. So I'm making this be relatively flat. You want the juices to stay in there because you use the juice for the ice cream. Actually, it's hard because now it's a little liquidy. Oops, that was the closed. All right, so this is the open corner. Just trying to push out as much air, and there we go. It's not, not pretty, 
but it will work. We'll lay this flat in the freezer and freeze it for our ice cream. So the peaches brought in a whole bunch of fruit flies that I didn't see. So one of my favorite remedies for that is just a little apple cider vinegar, some dish soap, and then I just kind of whisk the dish soap in there. And then set it in the problem area, which is over here in the corner. All right, now we are going to ladle this into these half pint jars that are hot. You want up to a half an inch of head space. Perfect. Now, because this is, I didn't really get anything on the rim, but just in case, this is sticky, so I'm just going to take some vinegar to wipe the rims off. go one beautiful jar of barbecue sauce there you have it six half pints three quarter pints I'll probably use these little ones as Christmas gifts and they are popping as I speak, and that is music to my ears. We were able to use all the peaches that I had, except for three, which we will save for fresh eating. I froze some as slices, and I also froze some in a batch of peach ice cream. So maybe I'll do a video when I make it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more and follow us on our Every Bit Counts Challenge. And as always, sookie sookie. Love the earth, love yourself, love each other. Till next time.